Thank you for keeping us company. And if you just tuned in, this is Y254. Discussion Monday kicks off right now with a question, where are we as a nation in terms of someone to audit all the accounts, all the government's account that they have uh, all the money that comes in, including our county governments. I'm speaking to political analyst Cyrus Alito. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, is to your corona make fish happy? Corona. We shall manage the way it is, as the government says. I thought it's only the members of the four, the state, the nurses, and wengine wenye to kwa kazi. Apana. Ujaka kwa nyumba. You see, people are hustling. Pesa iko hapi. Mm -hmm. So, lazima utoki utafute. All right. Yes. Now, we have a good number of members of parliaments. When you want to say, they kind of feel maybe the executive is frustrating their efforts to have the Auditor General. And you remember back in 2019, August, uh, Dr. Oko retired. And since then, we've not had Auditor General. There were accounts to be uh, looked into. There are, there are so many cases in courts. There are a lot of questions in terms of the funds that have been used and also this year actually we like three months short the uh, the time to give our budget or to get our budget rather what would you see is the current state are we in a good state or we are looking to a trouble uh first and foremost i can say that uh, we are headed into a big problem or a trouble because one we don't have audited accounts that are there for the public. You see, the Office of the Auditor General gives information to the public how the funds have been used, okay, within, as per the budget that was uh, estimated. Mm -hmm. Now, as uh, when the MPs cry, I think, to me, I take it as a joke because they have been compromised for a very long time. Mm -hmm. They are just like rubber stubs. They don't execute their work the way they are, they are supposed to execute. The tyranny of numbers was just used to make, uh, to make the government run the way it wanted to run. Mm -hmm. But right now is when now we are going to feel the pinch mm -hmm. out of the tyranny of numbers. Mm -hmm. Now this one brings a lesson to Kenyans that whenever you go for elections, as much as you are told to vote on tyranny of numbers, mm -hmm. then don't just vote uh, Nikon pumps, but votes people with wisdom. Mm -hmm. Because the, the number of MPs that we have in Parliament, mm -hmm. actually they are not up to task. So the problem we are having at the Office of the Audit Auditor General is something that, we sh that the country should look into. Mm -hmm. Not only the Parliament, but also we as citizens. Because there is a law that is going on that will never be accounted. Mm -hmm. Or one, because of the lack of the Auditor General, we are supposed to uh, come with the reports. We shall never have good reports of, uh, of, of accountability from all this, the, from the budgets, be it the counties to the national government. Mm -hmm. So there is a very big problem that we are facing as a country which needs to be addressed as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. But I don't know who is going to address that because now so many people or so many offices mm -hmm. have uh, acting managers or acting CEOs. Mm -hmm. And these are some of the very strong offices. Even the Office of the Political Parties Act. Mm -hmm. Since it was instituted, the former uh, CEO was acting. The current one is also in acting capacity. And you see, when you are on acting capacity, you cannot execute your full mandate. True. So this one clips your powers. Now, there's no service, good service that can be, can be delivered to the people. Now we are the office of the attorney general, of the uh, uh, auditor. Mm -hmm. What we need is to have the office be filled. But now it's, the, it's upon the parliament mm -hmm. to now, the, the public accounts committee, public mm -hmm. investment committee, mm -hmm. and uh, the other committee, there are around three committees, that need to come out clearly, okay, and uh, state it loudly. They also need, they should also have a meeting with the president and ask him, why are we not having the Auditor General? Because now we, are, we don't have full reports. We are headed into a budget for 2020-2021. 20, mm -hmm. So where are we going to get the reports if the Auditor General is not in office? 
even so even as they ask the question oh, what about uh, the the budget the question is why has it taken the president long to appoint someone because the 17 people who were there he refused them maybe because of a, like i say because of a conflict of interest and you see uh, the kenyan government there's a lot of funds that it has not accounted for mm -hmm. that it needs that it raise, it raises a lot of questions you see this is one of the this is one of the auditor generals that you've had as a country who has been very much outspoken who spoke without fear who executed his his duties diligently mm -hmm. and we can say maybe the 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 government is uh, the, the the appointing authority is afraid they may bring up, they may appoint someone who mm -hmm. may be more brave than the the, the the one who left the office mm -hmm. so and you see when we have step people very bold people then the public gets more information mm -hmm. than the way it has been the other years because more, more much of the office much of mm -hmm. the things on auditing mm -hmm. from the government side eh, have been well known when Aoko has been in the office. Mm -hmm. Most of the public have become aware of the auditing mm -hmm. of the public resources when Aoko was in the office. And lapses have also been seen from this. So these are some of the things I believe from my side the government is also afraid of. They fear being uh, being being, being uh, publicized eh? that they are, they, are, they are not doing their role as they are supposed to do or they are not utilizing the funds as they, they are supposed to do. Remember this is a watchdog mm -hmm. that is as much as it's a public entity okay or it's managed by the government but you see the person who was there mm -hmm. was coming out without fear who is who be it on the governors mm -hmm. be it on the uh, on the parliament itself, be it on the, uh, the executive. So these are some of the things that I believe that uh, they need to get someone whom they can uh, control in one way or the other so that much of information cannot go back to the public, mm. but it remains with them. Uh, all right. I, I want us to look into something. Um, it could be controversial because maybe they will need someone who has experience. And my question would be, did Dr. Oko really mentor someone we're speaking about the unemployment and we have so many youths out here and i'm sure most of them have even masters in things to do with accounts and we can't we have this space for us actually in the same vein we're having kayari coming in to remember uh sonko governor sonko ceded some power to the state and now i hear uh, KRA will now be collecting direct yes. tax from yes. uh, the city hall. The, 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 payment of motor v, uh, the payment of parking fee will go to Everything KRA. Now will be the licenses go to, to KRA. To KRA. Any, any, any payments be made to the county government and lobby county government, they'll be Just managed by the KRA. By KRA. Yes. Uh, so th these, these are, are some of the monies that you would want to know uh, or to know how they have been accounted for when they came in as this much, this much has been used. Now, if we do not have someone, what is what? Uh, what state are we now? You see, uh, from that angle, we are not going to get information. One, we, the lack of the auditor general. Two, the county assembly mm -hmm. of Nairobi will never account for anything. Will never account for anything because they are toothless at the moment, mm -hmm. and you see. Uh, as much as as much as they were elected by the people but now mm -hmm. they know they are not serving the interests of the people they are serving the interests of other other individuals mm -hmm. okay so this is some of the things that uh, we need to be very vigilant when we come to elections next uh, let me say 2022 if god if, if, if we get to, to that point but uh, when it comes to accountability as a nation, we failed, mm -hmm. and we fear accountability. Being accountable is something that we fear, and anyone who rises up mm -hmm. to question anything concerning accountability on monies, mm -hmm. that how the government spends, or how the county government spends, then this person becomes an enemy mm -hmm. 
of the of, 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 the, of the state. So these are some of the things that we need to be very vigilant. We need some bold people to come out. People like Okio Mutata, he needs support of the public yeah. so that we need to be more informed about our own taxes that we pay. Because at the end of the day, any money that goes to the government are our own taxes that we pay, mm -hmm. that are going to pay the salaries and do development. So we need to know how they accounted for. You, you've talked of uh, public being uh, involved, and then th how, how then do we get to ensure public participation in uh, some serious matters like this? Because if it's the appointment that comes directly from the president, and now it has taken time, we do not have an uh, auditor general, how then as an electorate would I ensure that my voice has been heard and I need someone to account for every single penny that comes into the government's account and it has been used correctly? You see, like whatever we are talking about now, there are very few Kenyans who are aware about it. Very few Kenyans who are aware, are aware about it. Mm -hmm. Now, when we come out and speak about it day in, day out, then it will raise eyebrows. Mm -hmm. Because you see, a government has a way of confusing people. Okay? We've been, uh, uh, since he left, there are a lot of things that have gone, uh, that have been going on. Mm -hmm. And you see, people have concentrated their efforts on that. No one is sitting down and, and asking about accountability. We are all looking at how will this thing pass? How are we going to go to, the, to, to, to let me say, a referendum mm -hmm. on other things? So these are some of the things that the government is using to confuse the public with so that uh, we don't sit down and think about the Auditor General. Mm -hmm. We don't sit down and ask about the contability on our monies. Mm -hmm. So it, will be, it is an uphill task that we need to enlighten our people about it. But I don't know to what extent we are going to enlighten our people mm -hmm. on to date. And, uh, and maybe if we can just come up with a, a Twitter handle mm -hmm. on the same about the Auditor General and about accountability. We make it let, let, let us have the auditors of, of this nation mm -hmm. bring up such things. Then we shall be up mm -hmm. to task. All right. Some of the MPs uh, uh, feel like maybe something is being cooked towards the, okay, someone is trying to nurse the uh, agenda in Camp 2022. But also in the same case, why, in your own opinion, why do you think it has taken the president to come up with someone this far? Uh, the, 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 I can say the mistake is not only, the blame is not only on the president. Mm -hmm. The blame is also on the, on the, on the MPs. Because why, is it, why oh, it has taken them long to respond to this issue or to raise concern on this issue. Why? Mm -hmm. Okay? Because it is, their, it is their responsibility to question that. Because the budget committee needs to make budgets. Mm -hmm. But you cannot make budget without the previous accounts. So it has to have the previous accounts. Mm -hmm. And it has to lie us with the Auditor General. Okay? So the Parliament on in, in one way or the other, it has failed. Mm -hmm. So let, let, we can not only blame the President or the Office of the President, but also the Parliament has failed in its own role mm -hmm. because they have been compromised. And you see when one identified that this person is weak in this area, then I can utilize my efforts in ensuring that he does not come out to speak or he speaks out late when things are already out of a mess, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. and out of control. So Parliament has already has really failed Kenyans. Mm -hmm. And that's why I always say that when it comes to election, let us elect diligent people, people who are ready to serve, not people who are ready to, 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 to receive... Uh, 10,000 uh, 10, 10, 10, bribes in the toilet, as it was alleged sometimes back. <laughs> they should yes. Uh, okay, now, um, the, appointment, the, the appointment of the 17 that was rejected, uh, some of the individuals in office today, by law, they are, they are said not to be, they, they shouldn't be there by law. And they say they are not supposed to, supposed to be there. Then we're heading to the budget. Who will do this? And of course, as we're speaking even about the coronavirus, we expect some uh, donor funding coming in. How then will we ever account for the money that came and how it was used? Uh, concerning the, the, the money that have already come, already the money has already come in. Mm -hmm. There are already 6 billion 
that is already there mm -hmm. for the coronavirus, to manage the coronavirus. So there will be no accountability of these monies because we don't have a body that will account for this. Now when it comes to budget, the budget committee, okay, will need to, to give a, a budget to the, to the Kenyans, but it will not be a budget that uh, will serve Kenyans at large, but it is, it is a budget mm -hmm. that will just be an enticing budget. Let me say a budget that is, when you look at it, it is so good, mm -hmm. okay, without questions. No one will be able to question the budget because the Auditor General will not have participated in it mm -hmm. because we are, the office is vacant, okay? Now, the, remember, this is not the, uh, the, the Auditor General office is not the only office that the uh, President has rejected mm -hmm. to... To, to, to appoint the, 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 the officer in charge. Look at the judiciary, mm -hmm. the judges who were nominated. The, ju the, the president did what? Mm -hmm. He ignored it and said he's not going to, to, to swear in the judges. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the things that when you sit down and look, the back does not only stop by the president. There's a lot of work the parliament has failed mm -hmm. in executing. True. So much efforts are with the parliaments which has already failed mm -hmm. in its mandate, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. And now, now as, as we wind up now, I, I wouldn't want us to dwell on it so much because it is something in court or it's an issue in court rather. Uh, okay, Omtata has taken up this matter and he, uh, we've seen him come, come along and win some cases. Do you think he will win this one? Yeah, he can win based mm -hmm. on his... Uh, his, uh, his case eh? mm -hmm. and uh, evidence that uh, he has tabled, uh, mm -hmm. he can win, probably, because I have not seen any case Okiem okay, Tuta has uh, lost mm -hmm. uh, concerning the government appointments and any other thing concerning the government. Mm -hmm. He will he'll definitely win. Mm, yeah. but, but I think the only one that he lost is about the uh, thousand shilling note. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's the, that the only thing that he lost. <laughs> but the rest, thing. he has always won. Mm. Yeah. All right, uh, let's end up on this. Uh, I would like you to make your final recommendations and maybe you can also comment about the coronavirus because I know as a Kenyan usi tudanganye kuna baridi mali as a Kenyan like, I can just say mm -hmm. uh, let us just follow the government directives mm -hmm. let us be safe but as much as they say that uh, uh, the self quarantine or what let us also look at the public transport you see there's a lot of, there's a lot that needs to be done on that because if seriously coronavirus has come to attack us, mm -hmm. then we, we, shall be, we shall really be attacked. From the public transport, go to Mombasa, the ferry people, okay? Mm -hmm. Go to Mashinani. You see, I was watching uh, the international media yesterday. Mm -hmm. They're saying that uh, Africa may have these many cases. Mm -hmm. But because of lack of uh, poor communication or poor... Uh, 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 mainstreaming mm -hmm. from the medias, then our cases are not hard. Mm -hmm. But if they do their own investigations, then Africa might be having the highest mm -hmm. uh, infections mm -hmm. of coronavirus. Mm -hmm. So let us uh, keep safe, all of us. Our city said it is there. So mm -hmm. let us follow the, the government directives and be safe. All right, yes. thank you so much, Cyrus, for coming in and doing to this particular matter and also the cause on the coronavirus. I'm, I'm sure you're also m making a comment on how the media is reporting on the same because actually I've also watched a clip where uh, a lady somewhere in the village, she's, she's, she's saying this thing is not true or yes. she doesn't have that information mm. and I'm sure there are a number of people who might be ignoring the yes. same and mm. if the government is saying it's there mm. we need to so. believe the government it's your government and you are the government thank yeah. you so much for keeping us company back home coming up next is why Mashariki thank you so much my name is Dereva Hillary have yourself a very beautiful week ahead goodbye and good night <laughs>